today on Go Cash over Coffee. Hey there, what can I get for you? Can I have a chai latte, please? For sure. Okay, maybe $5 that I shouldn't be spending, but who can resist a delicious cup of coffee? Well, today on Go, we're talking all about Financial Literacy Month, now that it's November, and what it means to be financially literate. But up first, we meet a local woman who changed her financial outlook. Excellent. Thanks for that, Ange. Now to continue the conversation on what it means to be good with your money, we are here with Doug Spatowski. Doug, can you tell everyone a little bit about your background in the financial world? Uh, I'm the executive director of the Edmonton Financial Literacy Society, and we really help people uh, live within their means and attain their goals that are really important in their lives. Okay, wonderful. And we all have goals, and, and money plays a huge factor with most of those goals, sure whether does. they're long-term, short-term. How do you get people to, to get on the good side of their financial situation? Well, you have to start with some real basic things. First off, people have to uh, not spend more than they make. And then, <laughs> that may uh, be an issue for me. <laughs> paycheck to paycheck. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. And then it's uh, helping people identify what's important to them and, and what's important to them in terms of the short term, the okay. long term, and the medium term. Okay, the medium term. What is? The, well, I don't hear that thrown around too often. Mm, let's say that you're just starting out as you are mm -hmm. and in two or three or five years you want to buy a house. Okay. That would be a medium term goal. What about one year? <laughs> a one year to pay off some debts, to make sure everything's uh, as it should be, okay. uh, perhaps to buy a vehicle, perhaps to upgrade a career. Lots of goals, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the words being financially literate, what exactly does that mean? It means uh, having a really good understanding of the uses of your money and using money as a tool okay. to get what you want. Okay, so that is the subject for today's show. We're going to be talking all about what it means to be financially literate and stay tuned. There's more to come. We'll be right back here on Go. Mm, welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we're down here at Roast Cafe with Doug Spatowski, getting you excited and informed about Financial Literacy Month. Now, Doug, you often hear about people wasting their money and not spending money on what's important. How do you try and get people to, to curb those habits that we all have to, to maybe spend too much money on coffee? Well, you know, it's a fairly simple type of thing. A coffee can be an example of a spending leak. Uh, for example, a coffee now and then can be okay, but if you add up the price of a coffee every day for a year or 10 years, <laughs> you may uh, decide that, hmm, $700 a year or more. I probably might spend $1,000 on coffee here. There you go. Oy, okay, so we're going to talk about more bad habits, but right now, while you all finish your Halloween candy, Bianca Jade talks a little bit about how Christmas, the cheer, it's already on its way. Take a look. Thanks for that, Bianca. Okay, Doug, do you, would you want some cookie? Uh, Feel free to dive great. in. I spent money I'm on this cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay we're, just <laughs> we are going to talk about goals, long-term, short-term, medium-term goals in just a moment. But right now, Tim Dancy takes us to the relocation of the Villeneuve Airport. Thanks for that, Tim. Okay, so we were talking long-term goals, short-term goals, medium-term goals. Uh, Doug, how would you tell people to, to write it down when it comes to the goals and, and really lay out where your money is going? Well, I think it's really, really important for people to take a look very carefully at where their money is going, keep track of it on a month-to-month -month basis, mm -hmm. at least for a few months, and that way you can discover, are you spending money where in places where it's just not taking you? Like coffee. <laughs> like extra but coffee. But it's so good. It's, it's really that great. It's wonderful. <laughs> right. Um, it's really important for see people to, to, to uh, have some goals, short-term goals. Um, do I want to buy a vehicle? Uh, down the road, do I want to buy a property or start make some investments? Budgeting. So start some budgeting. And long-term, of course, we all want to plan for and save for retirement. Okay. Yes, we do. Or we should be if you're not already. We're going to take a quick break on go. Don't go anywhere. More cash over coffee after this. Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we're down here at Roast Coffee with Doug Spatowski, our financial literacy expert. Again, November is Financial Literacy Month. And we're talking all about what that means. What does it mean to be financially literate? We're going to talk more about some great tips for you and your family. But right now, Paul Kane's football team had an outstanding season, and now they're on their way to provincials. Here's Jordan with more. 
All right, thanks for that, Jordan. Okay, so Doug, we talked about planning. We, we mentioned it briefly before, but now more tips. What do you suggest people do when it comes to long-term planning and maybe even taking all those receipts they have and laying it all out on the table? People should uh, keep track of their receipts and lay them out on the table and see what kind of money they're spending in many different categories, that whether it's car payments, gas payments, uh, small things like coffee, and that way you can really see exactly where your money is going. Because I'm one of those people, I know my, my fixed costs, so I know how much rent is, I know how much I'm going to spend on groceries or, or cell phone bills, whatever they are, and I have those, and then the rest of my money just seems to poof and go away like magic. So. <laughs> What's happening there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, a lot of people, uh, they get the basics, their needs, they address their needs very, very well, yeah. but when it comes down to their wants, they don't distinguish very well from some wants that are very, very important, for example, paying for your kids soccer yes versus those kids I don't have <laughs> those kids you don't have versus uh, a lot of big, big spurges mm -hmm. where money will just evaporate okay wonderful what about holidays should people if they're in a financial situation where they you know they have some debt should they even be thinking about holidays or should they really just be concentrating on getting that debt paid down it depends on the amount of debt yeah if they are deeply mired in debt you want to make your number one goal to pay off that okay. debt and after Afterwards, you will feel much freer. Yes. Even if you make steps towards paying off that debt, it will make you feel a whole lot better. Okay. Now, if you have a manageable amount of debt, uh, it's good to reward yourself a little bit now and then. It will give you a feeling of progress, and if you don't reward yourself a little bit now and then, you'll probably give it up. Right, right, because who wants to work all year round without taking one little itty bitty <laughs> vacation, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, we're going to have more financial literacy talk right after this break. Welcome back to Cash Over Coffee with our new friend, Doug Spatowski. We've been talking all about Financial Literacy Month and what it means to be good with your money. Now, next week, Doug, we are going to focus in on one specific topic. What's that topic? That topic is retirement savings. And savings. So we're going to have lots of information for you one week from today. You know, uh, it will be airing next Wednesday because of the long weekend with Remembrance Day. So stay tuned for that topic. Retirement and savings, lots to talk about, Doug? You betcha. I know. They're, we'll make you a brand new spanking list so you can put it in your fridge and start making all those goals. But right now, I recently had the opportunity to take Justin Moore to do a little target practice. Take a look. Such a great guy. Okay, so Doug, remind everyone one more time what we're talking about next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we are talking about retirement savings. And what is your website for more information if people want to look up some fun facts about their finances in the meantime? EFLS.ca. Excellent. So join us next Wednesday for cash over coffee.